we should be recording then. So uh, welcome again, everybody. This is uh, Vampire the Masquerade, Sophia by Night. And uh, we have three players uh, starting off the night. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and let them introduce themselves. Uh, you want to start off RPG Wizard? <laughs> well, I'm Matt. I will be playing Praetor this evening uh, of Clan Nosferatu. Okay. And uh, Onka Mav. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jen, and my character is named Iskra. She was 15 when she became a vampire. And I guess that's all you need to know right now. Oh, uh, Clan Bruja. Okay. And 007? Oh, yes. Hello. My name is Eric. Uh, I will be playing Claudio Perez of Clan Ventru. All righty. Well, we are set in the year 1200 in the city of Sofia, Bulgaria. Um, Sofia has known near constant warfare both between the human conflict and the kindred. A lengthy war between the Tremere and the Shamase, I believe I'm saying it right, have draw has drawn to a stalemate with each side retreating to their homes. The war has decimated the local clans, but with the, well, with the dawn of a new century, the prince has allowed the embrace of neonates to help them repopulate. A banquet will soon be held in their honor to formally introduce them. Your nightmare begins on the evening of January 1st, the year 1200 AD. You and your sire arrived the previous day, or mm -hmm. if you do bad, you can be more hungry. So... Um, what the way the hunger die work is the more hunger you have obviously the hunger you are and the more chance you have for frenzy so sure um, understand. at some point yeah. you guys might want to look for a snack so <laughs> 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 all righty so um we're going to start off with praetor um rising from your crate you, you you get a chance to look around uh you appear to be in a storage room of some sort um there's other wooden crates surrounding you in this room and a sizable bookcase stands off to the far side of the room a flickering candle from an open doorway beckons to you uh, once i rouse i will move towards the doorway okay and check out to see what's down the hall or down that down that en entrance exit. It's a beholder. No, just kidding. Um, oh yeah. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> no, no <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. In this. So second... it's a mirror. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. In this second room, um, you see your sire, whose name is Turvel, I believe, or Turvel. Turvel. Turvel's how I've been saying it. Yeah, Turvel. Turvel. So, okay. Turvel. Yeah. <laughs> <Very painful. laughs> okay. He. Um, he. Sitting at a uh, table, um, his back is turned to you, and you kind of hear him scratching away on parchment. You see a see a raven, raven feather plume is in his hand. He's like scratching away. He's like, I I will simply walk into the room, but I won't disturb him. Okay. Uh, I will sit. At, if there's another chair, I'll sit down at the table. Okay. Uh, and simply wait for him to finish. Okay. He, um, for the other players, um, his appearance is similar to um, Count Orlock, your, your 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 classical Nosferatu character. He oh, okay. has the um, bat-looking like ears. He has uh, big big pointy fangs. Um, uh, very ugly. Um, do you want to describe uh, your character, Praetor? Yeah, uh, Praetor is pretty much a he's a large largish man, uh, but young. Uh, he's about Close to close to six feet, about five ten, which is kind of tall for this day and age. Um, he's very well muscled. Uh, looks like he's worked out, like like he's um, he's worked a lot, like on a farm or something. You know, doing a lot of manual labor. He's very well built, uh, calloused hands, um, and but but still somewhat like like uh, I don't want to say graceful, but like he carries himself with a lot of with a lot of confidence. Okay. So he's not, he's very not he's not he definitely doesn't look like your your typical like uh <laughs> All righty. He kind of glances uh, over yeah. And he's like, "Good evening, Fator. I trust you slept well." I did indeed, sir. Uh, I arose early as I am wont to do. Do you know those bumbling fools dropped one of our crates? Uh I did not. Um I was asleep, so I do not. I was not aware of it. What did they break? The statue of Hera that I 
that I acquired in Milan. It's cracked in half. It's nearly useless now. Their superiors will know of this, I'll tell you. I am writing them a stern letter right now. <laughs> As well you should, Master. Um, I, if need be, I could perhaps uh, deliver that if you need it. Ah, this, these idiots, these bumbling fools. All right, we are going to switch over to Iskra. Okay. And you again, you are rising out of the uh, wooden crate you were in. Um, you, you find yourself in a rather drab looking bedroom. Uh, the, the walls are kind of gray and uh, were painted at one time, you, you think. Um, there's some heavy curtains held up um, that are hanging up over the only window that's in the room. Um, uh, li- looking out the door, um, you can see there's a, there's a kind of a narrow hallway. Um, sitting outside of it um, with a set of wooden stairs that that lead up to the uh, first, or, excuse me, that lead down to the first floor. Okay, so I get up and stare at the room and don't really care much for it and <laughs> go walking towards the door to see okay. what else is going to happen. Okay. Um, you don't find anything in the hallway, really, the, about the the only place to go is really down is down the stairs. Okay, so that's where I'm going. Okay, um, you're gonna find the rest of the house is pretty ordinary. Um, really, just kind of sparse decorations in the, in the dining room, and there's a there's a small library um, downstairs, um, and then there is another doorway that that you assume kind of leads maybe towards the front of the building. Okay, well. I don't see anything interesting in this room, so I'll go into the next one. Okay. I am going to make a roll for you. Okay. And we are going to we are going to use your uh, wits and awareness. So okay. let's see now. And you, I will, I'll make the roll for you if you'd like. Yep. Okay. And let's see. Uh, Oh, you got a critical success. All righty. All righty. So um, you notice something. There's a fireplace um, kind of on on the side of the room. Um, You just kind of glancing at it quick. You you thought you saw some of the bricks were in in kind of a different pattern than the rest of it. Hmm. I go... As close to the fire as is safe. Oh, it's not lit. It's not lit. It's not lit. It's not lit. Oh, yes, wow. yes, that's sorry. different. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I thought you said fire. So, okay. No, no, sorry. Then, <laughs> otherwise, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to go closer to it and see if I can figure out a pattern or okay. line. You're, or... you're running your fingers along it and you just find, find almost kind of like a seam in the, in the, in the, uh, the masonry. You just kind of something just seems like something's a little bit different there. Hmm. Can I break it? Uh, you could. Or do you want okay. to push on it, or do you want to punch it? Um, well, I'm going to push on it first, and if that doesn't work, I'm going <laughs> okay. to punch it. Yeah, yeah. So, say you are Bruja, so. Yes. <laughs> okay. She's going to push it, then she's going to push it a little harder. Exactly. Yes, okay. exactly. When you, when you put weight on it, you feel it start to give in a little bit. And when as you push it a little bit harder you find that it kind of opens up like it, you push it a little harder and it's like, it's almost like a door opens, opens inward and it, it's a dark hole. Um, but with, with your kind of sort of vampire, um, <laughs> vision, <laughs> I'm going to say, uh-huh. uh, yeah. you, uh, see that you can see a stairway, a staircase that leads down. This could be interesting. I'm going to see what's down there. Okay. You, as you go down the steps, um, you find you're in a, a large room um, that there is a, 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 um, a marble Roman bath at the bottom of, the, of this chamber. It's, it looks completely out of place in this, this old building, but there's this Roman bath. Um, it's, it looks like it's probably about three or four feet deep. Does it look like it's been used recently, or is it covered in dust? Uh, it has been used recently. There's a little bit of water, just, just a little bit. Of, it, it's, it, it smells damp, like the water's been changed recently. 
so this is what they spent all their money on instead of the furnishings <laughs> okay priorities i suppose do i see anyone else in there uh you don't see anyone hmm. do you want to approach the bath mm, i'll walk over and see if there's anything in it okay you look in and you see your sire laying at the bottom of the pool she is naked and floating with her her arms kind of over her chest and her eyes are closed of course that is where she would be fanciest place in the building okay i'm gonna sit on the side of it dip my feet in and just wait for her to pop okay. back out of the water i guess and she does her eyes pop open and she stands up mm -hmm. like she just kind of rises up <laughs> out of the water Okay. Um, even as just a brand new vampire, there still creeps the hell out of you. Yeah. The way she pops up. Weird. And she says, good evening, child. Hi. Where are we? We are in the city of Sophia, the place I told you that we'd be coming to, to start our, our, new, our new lives. Okay. Well, at least we're not stuck in a snowstorm. No, we are not. We are we are very safe here. We will be meeting with the prince tomorrow evening, but I have some business to attend to this evening. Okay, so do you want me to just hang around here, or? Yeah, I will be. Um, I I need to get prepared, and then we'll be going out for the evening. I'm going to introduce you to my sire. That would be your grandsire. Oh, wow. There's a whole family tree with vampires? There is. Her name is Katerina. Okay. Alrighty. And we are then going to switch over to Mr. Claudio. You find yourself, you find yourself in an earthen basement of some sort. Um, looking around, you see um, sturdy oak pillars that are, that are supporting the, the, the ceiling above you. Um, every, kind of peering around a little more, you find that it's a wine cellar. Um, from up above, you hear um, the sound of clinking glasses and, and silverware and things like that. Um, you also smell, the, smell a strong scent of uh, some kind of stew being cooked. No, that's how you wake up. <laughs> and and I realized I did not let you describe Iskra. We'll make sure we go back and let you describe oh, Iskra. Oh, okay, Sorry. yeah. Right. That's okay. Okay. Um, before I forget, do you want to uh, describe yourself, Mr. Perez? Um, Mr. Perez uh, is, um, well, now he's slightly pale, uh, you know, vampirism. Uh, but he uh, he's kind of uh, kind of an average height man, about uh, five nine, five ten. Uh, he has long, uh, dark brown hair. Uh, it's just past his shoulders. He wears it in a in a, a tie in the back. Has a, he lets his front bang strip droop down. Um, not really the strongest man. You you don't you don't when you see him you don't see. Uh, you don't see strength. However, um, his eyes are rather... Um, you can stare into his <clears> eyes <throat> a little bit. He has some sort of air about him. You don't know what it is, but you can feel it. Uh, he is pretty charming. Um, but again, those eyes kind of uh, tell you the story of, of him. Gotcha. All right. You... Um... In the, in the chamber, you do see a pathway that's been made of some wooden planks um, kind of set into the, to the dirt floor that, w that if you followed them over, they would lead to a staircase. Mm. Is it dusty around here? Yes. He doesn't like dust. <laughs> <sighs> he sounds like a bit of a dandy. I'm going to have to make sure that this place is clean. So he... <laughs> He gets up and he'll walk toward, uh, walk down the hallway, trying to figure out where the uh, stairs are. However, he will inspect the wine bottles that are around. You find that they are uh, quite a great vintage. Mm. I'm going to have to use these. <laughs> he walks up, the, walks up the stairs. Okay. As you get to the top of the stairs, there's an old wooden door there, 
um, and you can hear on this on the other side of it. You can hear sounds of two women uh, uh, talking. Do I recognize the place I'm in? Nope. Hmm. Because you never would would have been down in a basement. So. Sure. Sure. Well, I mean, <laughs> his wife, maybe <laughs> you know, or in a closet or in the back. You know, it is what it is. Uh, you um, know what? Let me let me make a roll for you. Let's okay. Let's see if maybe you do remember it. Uh, let's see. He is from Sophia. Okay. So let's. Come on. Let's do this. You actually think you you do kind of recognize this basement for a minute. Okay. You're kind of okay. like, hey, you know, I might have come down to, to to grab a bottle one one late night down here. Okay, let's walk through the uh, the doors of the accompanying okay. ladies I'm listening to. Yep. Um, okay, you open up the door and you see there's two servants are washing dishes and they're kind of just chatting to each other. Um, their backs are turned um, and they, they, they're just kind of still working away. Um, you're in the kitchen of um, a gentleman you knew named Ronaldo, mm. um, who you think might be your sire. This is where this headache comes from. <laughs> Hello, ladies. They turn around and don't scream, but they, they slam into the, the counter. They're just kind of sitting there like, <gasps> like, like okay. where, let's look at where it's did you okay. come from? Um, you, you hear a voice um, call out from, from the other side. Um, a, um, the dining room attendant, his name is uh, Serge, will come over and say, good evening, sir. Uh, it, it's good to see you. you're aroused. Um, the master awaits you in his chambers. Very well, sir. I will go to the master and see him. Okay. Ladies, I may be back. They just kind of peer at you with like utter terror watching <laughs> watching you pass. Um, you are um, you follow Serge to it looks like a writing room. It has a like a high vaulted ceiling. Um, there's a large window that's uh, that's open. Um, that as you as you get a little closer, you can see it looks out over the, the town square of Sophia. Um, a brilliant moonlight just flooding the room with light, um, and you see Ronaldo um, sitting at a uh, large oak desk. Um, it looks like he's looking through some correspondence, some, some papers, and things like that. And he just kind of looks up at you, and he's like, it's about time you got up. Did you have to put me in something so dusty? It was the only way to get into town. Uh, fine. You see, the, 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 roads, the roads are often being watched, and we, we have to be careful as, as we make our way into the city. I apologize for the less than pristine conditions of your travel. No, I understand, but I know this place from somewhere. I don't know when, though. You had, you had been here once a couple years ago. I, I had, a, had a little uh, party here and invited you, and that's how I started to get to know you. Mm. Well, can we have another party and invite those two lovely ladies in there? <laughs> no, they're, they're to be left alone. All right, no problem. Okay. Uh, we're we uh we are going to be meeting with the prince and uh praetor basically you're getting the same speech um we're going to be meeting the prince um tomorrow night but in the meantime i have business i need to attend to so i will be taking you to meet with uh samuel who is a servant of the uh of the prince um you need to be uh essentially vetted by him first before you're allowed to meet the prince well, I thank you for that. However, I am looking for a meal because I am rather hungry. Uh, what is your uh, appetite telling you? And basically, uh, basically, basically like, what, what do you need to feed on? <laughs> mm, I can feed on something rather gay, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> Something happy and joyous. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe a lovely, a lovely lady. Maybe uh, okay. of early twenties, if we have any. If not, that's fine. I'll take a thirties. But twenty is <laughs> good vintage. He he he, he kind of drums his fingers on the desk for a second. He's like, he's like, I believe we have a chambermaid who may be able to uh, slake your uh, thirst. 
Um, well, he, as long as she's willing, that's all I ask. Oh, she can be made to be willing. Oh, yes, she can be. <laughs> okay. Um, we are going to... Um, we're going to basically just go through the feeding um, and you uh, basically the rules are as long as you don't drain them. Um, yeah. You, you, so you're going to gain back um, at least one hunger die. Okay. So we're going to, so you're now down to just one then. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, I believe we wanted to have Iskra describe herself. Oh, right. Okay. So Iskra is, a teenager, essentially. She's not very tall, and she's kind of petite. She's about maybe five foot something around there. She was pale in life, and she's paler as a vampire. She has long, black, curly hair that she doesn't know how to tame <laughs> and uh, doesn't really care what she's wearing. There's no no straightening irons back then? so There might have been, but she doesn't <laughs> care. <laughs> it's just too much of a hassle. Exactly. So she's too angsty. So yeah. Okay. Um, so basically, you each kind of get the same speech from your uh, your sires um, that you're being taken to meet with Samuel, um, a servant of the prince, um, and that uh, think of it almost as neonate daycare for the evening. Um, <laughs> you're you're being dropped off uh, by your sires because they have other business to attend to. Um, so do you? Does each of you need to do anything? Uh, I don't know if Mr. Perez wants to uh, change and be bathed. But before we go or I definitely need you to be bathed this these rags that I have on are just not gonna work from transport I'm sure they were fine before okay. but as of right now this needs to d- be a different uh, vintage of smell if you know what I mean <laughs> right. Ronaldo has um, has an entire wardrobe that he allows you to uh, to choose from um, so I'm sure you find some you know a fresh tunic and uh, you know, shirt to wear, and uh, you, know, you know, leggings or whatever. You know, <laughs> something, something <laughs> with a high collar, if you will. There you go. There you go. <laughs> All right, uh, Praetor. Any uh, any preparations before you uh, go out on the town with your sire? No, unless unless if we have time, he might go hunt. Um, okay. Because he got he has that hunger die thing that got he, yeah. he woke up hungry. So he's like, if we have time, perhaps I will. Look around for a brief, uh, rep- slake my thirst, as it okay. were. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And um, just for expediency, we're going to say you were you were successful. And uh, okay, I believe you are the alley cat. Um, yeah. Okay. So yeah, I think that's uh, what I picked. Yeah. So no, Sandman. Uh, I'm the Sandman. So, oh, okay. That's going. That's a little harder. I think in that's the what evening. I picked. Yeah, you did pick Sandman. Um, okay. Just for expediency, we're going to say that you found somebody and you were able to uh, okay. slip in and slip out. Um, yeah, the yeah. Pred- the predator types are going to be a little bit different. Um, it's it's Iskra is is the alley cat, and I think about yep. it. Um, yep, yep. Okay. Yeah, they they because they're kind of more specific about how you feed and and what you look for. So we'll probably do a little bit more with that later. But just for expediency, we're going to say you okay. you got a you got a you got a juice box. So um, yeah. <laughs> and Iskra, uh, any any preparations for the evening? No, I'm just gonna brush whatever dust is on my clothes and figure that's good enough. <laughs> okay. All righty. Okay. Well, um, then you will each leave your basically. You're staying right now at your sire's haven. Um, if in time um, you choose to have your own haven, um, if your sires allow such a thing, um, for right now you're you're staying with mommy and daddy. Um, <laughs> so you will uh, you will leave uh, your sires haven, and you will be then heading to um, a uh, kind of a not uh, kind of a lower section of the city. Um, you're going to find each city section of Sofia has its different kind of quadrants. Um, different ethnic groups live in different places. Um, you're heading towards um, more of a, a warehouse section. Um, and as Matt knows, I always love a convenient empty warehouse um, yes. for, for my games. Um, and in this case, you are actually going to a warehouse. Um, as you approach, um, you're gonna. I'm gonna say you're each coming from different directions. Um, so you're approaching the warehouse that has um, kind of a one section that has uh, like almost think like a truck bay, um, but for wagons. Um, and then there's a like a, a doorway that um, opens up to it. Um, 
I'm going to say uh, Praetor and Turville approach first. Um, they see, um, they're able to see there's two two burly men standing outside by the doorway. Um, as you're approaching, you see uh, two uh, two well-dressed gentlemen um, approaching from, so say Turville is coming from, say, the west. Um, Turville and a Praetor are coming from the west. Uh, Claudio and Ronaldo, you're coming from the east. And Iskra and um, Patia, you're coming from the south, if that makes sense. Um, so you're kind of all approaching at the same time, um, and you can now all see each other. Hmm, I smell something approaching. Okay, and you look over and you see uh, Praetor and uh, Turvel. Um, they are sticking to the shadows, um, especially Turvel. Um, Praetor, um, I don't, I don't remember the obfuscate power. I don't know if you have that up or. Or if you uh, wear a cloak, or I would wear a cloak initially, okay. Uh, okay. And a, uh, with a hood. Okay. Uh, I have some obfuscate, but I do not have the mask of a thousand faces level. Okay. So okay, okay. So you guys, you guys do... are sticking to the shadows. Yeah, basically, because okay. we don't we don't look nice. Okay. It is still snowing. Um, it is um, not quite as heavy as it was, um, but you guys are definitely trudging through the snow. Um, this part is, you know, there's mud underneath the snow, so it's a nice brown sludge that you guys are walking through. So it's it's hard to approach unheard um, in the snow. Um, there's really nobody on the streets because at this hour, people know to kind of be home. Um, they know it's not a good thing to be out prowling the streets, um, considering uh, the witches and things like that that were that have been uh, plaguing the, 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 the recent nights. Um, and Iskra, uh, mm -hmm. you see these uh, four men uh, approaching um, from different directions. Those some of them are the new ones, right, Petya? Yes. She says, I know the I know the one. I know Turville. I know I can see him there. But the other one I the other two I, I do not know them. Okay. So, At least I'm not the only one. Okay. So you uh, you guys each kinda you kind of the six of you at this point kind of reach the doorway. And the guards just kinda look at you. They're like yeah. Hello, Hello lovely there. friends. I glare at the guards. Ronaldo seems to take charge, and he's like, "We have a meeting with Samuel." And they're, they're the guards are like, "Oh, oh, all right, sorry, never, never mind." And they they just kind of push open this wooden door, and. From inside, you can see a faint candle light, um, kind of fur kind of further back in the room. Um, a normal mortal wouldn't be able to see it, but you guys' senses are a little bit better. You kind of you can see further inside that there's a light inside. Ronaldo says, "Follow me," and he kind of walks in first. Anyone following or uh, if if Petia follows, follow. yeah, follow. yeah, for not, I'll go where Ronaldo goes. Okay, all right. So I'm assuming all six. Kind of wander mm -hmm. in. Okay. Um, you walk in, uh, you find there is a, a lower um, floor to the um, to the warehouse that's been kind of dug into the earth. Uh, there's two sets of uh, wooden staircases that, that lead down in there. Um, and there is a tall, thin man um, standing um, by a crate. He has a piece of parchment um, he's been writing on. Um, and he has a... Um, a uh, not a candelabra, just kind of more a lantern kind of sitting next to him. He's just kind of writing notes. Um, he's very thin, uh, kind of sh short cut black hair. Um, he's wearing kind of dark kind of magister's robes, um, but you can see that he's he's not like a weakling. I mean, he looks, he's a very fit, um, despite his kind of scholarly look. Um, he kind of just glances up at you and just kind of frowns a little bit. Um, and he says, Come forward. And he uh, he he kind of gives kind of kind of a quick bow to or kind of nod to uh, Turville, who, who seems like he's kind of click like clicking his claws together, kind of like excitedly. And he's like, "It's good to see you again, Samuel. I, I am most 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 happy to to introduce my child." And he kind of just 
opens up his, his clawed hand towards Praetor. Praetor will nod and kind of like look towards Samuel and kind of, you know. Okay. And Samuel goes, ah, the guardian. And then he kind of glances over at Patia. And she doesn't seem real thrilled to see Samuel. She just kind of huffs and she's kind of like, yeah, this is my child. This is Iskra. Hi. And he goes, ah, the angel. And then he kind of, kind of turns, kind of a look of like disgust at at Claudio, and Ronaldo goes, May I introduce Senor Claudio Perez. I curtsy. And Samuel looks at you and goes, Ah, the horror monger. <laughs> That's not what they say at the time. <laughs> Esther um, is canonically laughing at this. <laughs> Uh, Samuel, basically picture um, Severus Snape with even less sense of humor. Um, just he's um, you. You have been told by your sires that he is a ghoul, um, so he is a, a servant of the prince, um, and that he is basically respected as much as as any any canite or kindred um, in the city. So, basically, do what he tells you. Um, so even the, now, you may you may think he's just an ordinary human, um, but you're you're to treat him with respect. Um, your sires um, basically um, all leave together. They uh, they indicate that they have business with the prince um, before your formal um, introductions. So they all leave and leave you alone with Samuel, who just continues to just sit and write some notes. And just kind of looks at you guys like, you can talk if you want to. Hello. Is there a chair anywhere to sit down on? No. Mm, I'm going to sit on the floor. Okay. You know, Iskra, we can probably get you some clothes. Something to match your demure, if you will. Okay, sir. All right. I mean, I knocked the dust off of him before I got here. <laughs> yes. Did you knock off the scent as well? Nope. Oh. Eh. I don't know. <laughs> I don't really care. I mean, we're already undead. Does it matter? Look, you must have a good quality presentation. People look at you. We are now higher than the mortals. So we want to make sure we continue to have that presence about us. Or maybe that's just me. Might be just you. She kind of nods at him, like, kind of a smart-ass way. Samuel just keeps writing notes. He's just <laughs> oblivious to you guys. He just seems yeah. like he's got a... Um, if, if, if he had a, a smartphone these days, he'd be texting somebody or, or doing something <laughs> today. <laughs> so. yeah. Pray till I have it. Uh, tell me about yourself. I am a... Well... Where do I begin? I I am old. I am I do not no, no. know how to say this. No, no, I can I am, see that. I can, I can see you very <laughs> old. Oh, I got you. Um, I have <clears throat> loss of my memory. Uh, as my sire tells me, I was formerly well. I was embraced a long time ago, uh, and he has been helping me reintegrate into modern society, as it were. Uh, hold on, real quick. Hold on, hold on. Eric brings out a little cloth in his hand or gives it to Praetor. You got something on the side of your Whoa. mouth there. <laughs> he wipes. <laughs> uh, I, uh, I, I do not know how to say this. I was Roman when I was born, and now I am here. It's been uh, such a long room. time that I slept, and I clearly, uh, well, I am so grateful for my mentor, uh, Turville. Uh, alas, my own, uh, my history is somewhat checkered, as according to my master, Turville. Uh, I cannot recall much of what occurred 
while I was alive. But he has, he has informed me that some of what uh, was discovered where I was buried, uh, I was a former guard uh, in in Rome, uh, one of the Praetorian Guard. And I am now here to perhaps live the life I can, as best I can, mm, in this day lovely, and age. Lovely new beginning, I see. Uh, that is what I hope for. And hopefully we can get for. a new beginning for Iskra and them close. But anyways... I give you a glare. <laughs> Start messing with my nails and stuff. <laughs> Samuel looks up and he says, there should be a fourth. Hmm. When do we have the pleasure of meeting this particular person? They were supposed to be here already. She is a child as well. But I do not see her. We were to have two children and he kind of sneers when he says children perhaps something interrupted their journey perhaps you could fetch her for me where would hmm. she where would she be living to use the phrase I suppose her sire was to bring her here I do not know where they would be. Then how are hmm. we supposed to find someone we don't know what looks like or where they are? Then that might be a challenge for you. She is a child such as you, one of your kind. So there may be other ways to find her because there will be perhaps a trail that can be located. Yes. Friends, I'll be, be right back. You can continue. I'll just kind of pick up after. Okay, no problem. Um, he is going to give you kind of a rough idea, kind of where in the city, um, based on his own intelligence, let, let's say. Um, he can kind of guide you towards um, the uh, the cathedral district. Um uh, but he really won't say any more than that. Um, he says, but okay. she, she, is, she, she is a child such as this one, and he kind of glances at Iskra. Um, find her and return her here, and then we shall deal with their sire. Okay, at least we have something to do now. <laughs> and I get up and I sort of like knock the dust off of my clothes or whatever's on the ground and dirt okay. and just yeah we're good okay um Praetor pretty much just wears a large cloak <laughs> keeping his face somewhat hidden <laughs> okay all right so we are going to kind of fast forward um you guys are going to head over to what's called the cathedral district um as you go out into the night um iskra you notice that praetor kind of just kind of stays towards the shadows He's well, while you're kind of just boldly kind of walking down the street, kind of like, yeah, pretty and, much. Um, and Claudio is just kind of strutting, you know, like a walking <laughs> stick or something like that, you know, sing, singing a happy song, you know. But uh, so the three of you kind of have an odd pace, you have one kind of skulking in the background, um, you kind of have. <laughs> The uh, the bored teenager and then uh -huh. the uh, <laughs> yeah, so you guys you guys make an odd trio. Um, Certainly do. As you uh, as you head into the um, the uh, what's kind of called the cathedral district, what you're finding is that um, this is where the uh, the Catholic Church um, kind of has its has its strongest presence in the city. Um, you uh, don't really run into too many people. Occasionally, you you see some some workmen kind of walking down the street. Looks like they've they've gotten done with work late. Um, there are seems like a there were a couple taverns that you passed before you got here, but this is definitely a, a different part of the city. Um, you do come to uh, what's called St. Luke's Cathedral. Um, it's a large um, wooden and um, partially stone um, building um, that the um, 
it looks like the front door um, is is closed, but through the stained glass, you can see that there's uh, there's light on, uh, there's light shining through. Um, so you guys are really kind of approaching it from the south. You're kind of walking up towards the entrance. You kind of see some some light coming out from the stained glass, um, and it looks it looks pretty interesting to you for some mysterious reason. Hmm. Now, Iskra, you <laughs> see. At the top of the building, a large cross. I looked out at my feet. Okay. And the other two, you kind of look up at it like, okay, it's church. Yeah. I'm going to make a roll for you, Iskra. Okay. Uh, let's see. What would be... Hmm... Would that be mean? Uh, let's see. <laughs> let's just do this here. Whatever. Uh, actually, let's make that a little more difficult for you here. Yeah, let's make it a little more difficult there. And that would be... Bad, bad, bad. I don't want to be here. Mm-hmm. Yep. You feel like, no, I... I can't go near that place. Nope. Mm -mm. Nope. Vampire crosses. Uh. Uh. Can't do. You hear her muttering under her breath, like bad, bad. The, the, the crosses. This is bad. I can't go there. <laughs> Let me take a couple steps back. What is wrong? Crosses. Vampires. Don't you know this? Uh, uh, is it? It doesn't bother you guys. Doesn't bother. Yeah. Not, doesn't bother I anyone else. No, I, I yeah. can't. I can't go in there. I can't. I can't. Things have certainly changed since I was embraced, or as my, as Turvel has told me. Uh, is it something in about the church, or is it about? holy ground or uh, um, what is it what is it that concerns you most I, I can't explain i just don't want to be here anymore well this is this well we don't know if this is the place where we need to look but it's certainly a place to start uh i will perhaps see about clinging to the shadows and perhaps make some reconnaissance and okay. see if this, uh, this is worthwhile for us to investigate further okay, okay. So you're going to So he'll uh, he'll go try to sneak in and make some make some like approach stealthily okay. to kind of look around and see if there's okay. maybe like a a a back door or not a, you know some other way in okay maybe or like a broken window okay <laughs> you know let's let's try like that. let's try a um, stealth and dexterity roll and your target's okay. going to be uh, th your difficulty's going to be three. So you need three successes. Uh, yeah, let's see if I can figure out how to do this on this what, sheet. Yeah. What you do is you is you click on um, the little plus sign next to stealth. Okay. And then um, then you double click the uh, the black dot next to dexterity. Oh, okay. There we go. So stealth, yeah. and then double click the black dot yeah. next yeah. to dexterity. There you go. Oh, there we go. I don't and... know what it did. You well, and what it's going to tell you is um, your difficulty was three, and you got three successes, okay. which is great. So okay, Yay. all right. So you managed to kind of slip, um, slip down kind of the right side of the, the cathedral. Um, mm -hmm. You're kind of moving through the shadows. Um, you find um, mm -hmm. there's a big window on the side, um, and it looks like there's a like a crate been pushed up against the. Um, up against the window, and you see mm -hmm. a girl standing uh, with her kind of her nose against the window, like looking inside. Um, she looks to be about like a teenager. Um, you can kind of tell it's a girl, um, very mm -hmm. thin figure, but she's standing just kind of with her, like her, you know, kind of looking inside the window. Okay, so she has not seen me or no, heard, no. heard me approach. No, she seems okay. like she is enraptured looking inside. Okay. Uh, I don't know her. Uh, we don't know. We don't know what we're looking for. Or who we're looking for? Mm -hmm. We're just another child. Mm 
-hmm. So I will kind of watch her for a moment, see what she does, uh, and see if, if she leaves, I might follow. But I want to see what she's looking at, but I don't want to mm -hmm. approach any closer to, right. to reveal my presence. She, so let's, let's watch a minute and see what she does. Okay. She is just – and as the closer you get, you hear the sounds of singing. You hear sound of what sounds like children singing from inside the building, like a, almost, okay. like a, almost like a choir practice. Gotcha. Okay. Do I um, frighten her, or do I? <laughs> it's like, what, do, what do I want to do with this woman? Right. Praetor would not. I know how he would behave. Mm -hmm. um, he would. All right, then he would loudly kind of clear his throat mm -hmm. uh, to to get her attention. Okay. Uh, he's he's not afraid of a little a little woman, uh, given his given his overall physical stature gotcha. and appearance. <laughs> gotcha. Uh, so he's gonna he's going to just kind of like, <clears throat> hello. She jumps. Yeah. And spins and and looks at you. She is very pale, and uh -huh. do, and does appear to be a to appear to be a young and she's like, "Who are you?" I am called Praetor. I am. I am looking for someone. A certain perhaps someone. I have, perhaps. I have been tasked to find a missing child. And I pronounce child kind mm -hmm. of right. awkwardly and weirdly, like yeah. with a weird emphasis, <laughs> you know, to hear the E. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. She goes, and she, she kind of, she kind of jumps down from the box. She's about, about the same size as Iskra. Um, and she has a uh, dark brown hair. Uh, she's kind of wearing a, 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 uh, a heavy cloak because it's still snowing. Um, but she, yeah. she gets closer. It doesn't seem like this, the cold is bothering her as much. And she and she kind of gets a little bit closer to you. And she's kind of now. Um, do you allow her to see your face, or do you do you stay to the shadows? I'll stay to the shadows. That's okay. that's his okay. normal. Okay. He'll kind of, if she if she looks like he's trying if she looks mm -hmm. like he's trying to look at her. <laughs> But mm -hmm. if, if it looks like she's trying to look at his face, he will definitely like kind of okay, not not jump back, but like okay. purposely like like he's not scared, but yeah. he doesn't want her to see his face. Okay, that, what, that, what's left of it? Okay, that, that's <laughs> that's where we're gonna do a a contested role. So yeah. we are gonna so she is gonna try to basically see a little closer. Um, yeah. So you, I think, could do. Um, um, let me let me see her sheet again here. Mm -hmm. Come on. Let me see what you got here. Um, you could do Cloak of Shadows, but at this point, she's already seen you. So. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to try to. I okay. wanted her to see me because I wanted to at least get her. You know, I don't want to startle her and have her gotcha. like do something rash. Gotcha. So, but I don't need her looking at my, catching my natural appearance. I gotcha. I so. gotcha. All right. So she is going to... She's gonna try to look know, a little. Well. She's gonna try to look a little closer. Now you can try to pull back into the shadows a little more, or um, yeah, that's what he would do. But he wouldn't like. He would just kind of take a step back, or, or you know, like gotcha. his arms might be folded, and he's just kind of like moving or twisting, like like. Gotcha. He's not necessarily retreating, but he's simply taking a step back. Like, gotcha. Okay. No, no, no. That's not. That's not how we do this. Okay. Um. She's. She kind of takes a step back, like, and then, she, and then she's like, "Oh," and then she kind of seems like she's kind of figured out what you are. Um, mm -hmm. She's like, "Am I in trouble?" Not yet. Are there more of you? There are two, with myself. We have been asked to. You and your sire were supposed to appear, and you have not. Oh. And we were tasked to locate you. Oh. Um. Um. Well. Um. My. Um. My sire's not here. Um. She said she had. Uh. uh they ha had business. Um. Somewhere else. Well, they did. As far as I am aware, the, the, the somewhere else was a meeting with the prince. Okay. Um, and, or at least a meeting with Samuel. Yeah. She seems hesitant. Um, okay. Um, 
could I stay just a few more minutes? The, the, the choir is not quite done yet. Well, we were not given a time limit on our search, so be my guest. Okay. She, but do not attempt to evade me. She kind of scrambles back up the crate, and she's like, kind of waves you forward, like, come on, come on, take a look. And it's and okay. it's and it's and it's basically a you know as as opaque glass as there would have been yeah. back then. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, she, I, glass making has <laughs> it's yeah. one of its greatest back then. Yeah, uh, so, yeah. Okay. He's cl- like like I guess if they saw my face, it wouldn't really matter that mm-hmm. much here because it might be like, well, it was through our glass, and then be like, mm-hmm. oh, never mind. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, he'll okay. he'll carefully he'll confidently approach this woman. Okay. Um, again. He's not a. He doesn't appear afraid of her, given okay. her slight stature. But right. He doesn't. You know. He doesn't. He doesn't know anything about her. So. Right. But he'll come over and listen and look. Okay. And inside, you see there is a choir of children, um, all kind of dressed in um, uh, average clothes. They they're not rich kids. They're you know middle class for the middle e- you know middle e- medieval times, um, and they're singing. And there's a you know an older woman who's like you know conducting them. And then uh, they, they finish a song, and then she claps, and all the kids start clapping. And it looks like the um, choir practice is getting ready to end. It is and, time to go. And they're going to be released soon. So it is time to go. She's like, um, and Prager right. will then he will begin to walk away, like take okay. about three or four steps, and just kind of nod his head, like, "Come along." She, okay. Okay. Um, she kind of scrambles down off the box. And um, now let's go back to um, let's go back to Iskra, and I think we may have lost. <laughs> so, we lost Eric. So, yeah, we, we may did. have we lost him. So we'll we'll assume he's just standing there hanging out with you. Um, okay. You see the um, the front door of mm-hmm. of the church open wide, um, and bright light comes from inside, and this stream of children start come running out. I move into the shadows to avoid the children. Okay. Um, and as they're they're running out, um, you can see over their heads, you see this brilliantly lit crucifix um, and religious statues inside. Um, and it just seems to scare the hell out of you. I start walking farther from the church and okay. with my back to it. Okay. Um now with uh, Praetor and his new friend, um, you now hear the children come streaming out of the church. Um, and they, as they come down the stairs, they, they're going all different directions. They're all just running so, out. There's probably about 20 kids. At that point, Praetor will look for a place to use uh, his cloak of shadows, kind of okay. be able to hide himself. Okay. Is he, is he going to hide his friend or is it just him? I can't um, remember what I can do. Yeah, I don't either, actually. I have to look um, that up. <laughs> let's, let's take a look here. Uh, the three let's... powers are cloak of shadows, silence of death, and unseen passage. Okay, so and let's. See. I don't know how we can cover. Let's see. Don't we have a uh, the, library? There, there we yep, go. Yep, library. That's what I was going to actually All say. Right. Let's, let's just look it up. So let's see. Discipline powers. Here we go. But that's what I'm looking for. Follow the general rules for obfuscate. Well, that doesn't help me much. So. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there is. There scrolling, is. Scrolling. Yep. There is. There is a. Um, there should be a, uh, a rouse check you have to do for this, um, which means you have to um, roll your hunger die first. Um, okay, let's see. But I think I think what you do for this is you are able to. Um, there's a way to like tag the um, the um, discipline, like when you do a roll. Yeah. Right. I think you. Can I think do from it. the sheet. Yes. Uh, yeah. So then it then it knows like what you gotta what you gotta roll and all that. Let's so. see what the other one is. Okay, so I see a rouse check of level. There's no dice in there. It just says level one. Yeah. So I think. Uh, I think so let let's me see. see. Can I do the plus sign? Yeah, I think you click the plus sign, um, and then I don't know if you have to. Um, I don't know. Try just try rolling the die for it. See what it does. I, th- right. I I think it's maybe that, and then maybe is it dex maybe. Or stealth? Stealth, yeah, or something. And I just try to roll the dice and see what. Right, so I'm trying to get into here. There we go. Okay. Oh, critical success. 
Yes. Alrighty. You you are able to hide her and and yourself. Um, and uh, you could probably even s try to slip through the crowd of uh, kids. That, I, that would be kids. ideal. Okay. That would right. be ideal to get away from them so they don't see either of us. Okay. You you manage to slip through the crowd. These kids don't even notice you. And you get all the way across basically the little street. Um, and then mm -hmm. you see Iskra waiting. Um, Iskra, uh, he has mm -hmm. now returned um, with a, uh, a teenage girl. And she and her eyes kind of widen when she sees you, and she's kind of like this. Almost this look like, oh crap, there's another one. <laughs> and All but right. not but not threatening, more mm -hmm. just like, have they done this to another one? Oh, okay. She's just like, oh crap. I guess you found her. And, uh yes. Uh, she was not. Uh, she was watching some children sing. It was beautiful. She it says, was pleasant. She says, my name is Hildegard, and she bows. Um, she's, I'm sorry I was out. Uh, I didn't know um, what I was supposed to do this evening. I'm Iskra. Iskra. Yep. And you, sir? I'm called Praetor. Praetor, uh, okay. your your super your sire did not tell you that the, of the meeting this evening. That seems strange. He 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 did not mention it. And she seems or like she. She's, well, you you notice this time she said he. Okay. And previously she who said who is your he. who is your sire Praetor? His his name. And the storyteller goes to look it up. So. <laughs> You'll find it. You'll find it. Uh, my, my, my sire's name is, is Bertram. I, I'm very nervous. I, I've, I've never been this far from home before. Where's and your home? sire's? And you sense, you sense she was kind of dodging the question, though. Yeah. Um, so she's she seems nervous, but yeah, she she flubbed it because she said she before, and then this time said oh. he. Yeah, well, I might chalk it up to being startled to being startled by Praetor. He does that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Pardon the pus. <laughs> yeah, no, actually, well, actually, he's not, not quite. He's, yeah. Not that bad. He's not that bad. <laughs> I don't. Even, you know what's funny is I don't even remember that character's name that I had I don't for that. Either. For that I don't even. Yeah, know. <laughs> it was a one-shot deal with Jeff. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but that that phrase hung on forever. So. Oh yeah, it did. That was great. Okay. Um, yeah. So. Uh, yeah. I, okay. This is not something. You know, this is out of his pay grade, as it were. That's, he's not. He's not. I don't have any orders that cover this. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> um, the. Um, Basically, there's still kind of nobody on the streets, but you get the feeling like, hey, maybe we ought to just just uh, bring her back and see if this is the, the one they were looking for. Yeah. Uh, well, Samuel would know, I would hope. Yes. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, as clearly, she seems to recognize what we are. Uh, yes. So, as far as Praetor is concerned, we found another vampire. He's mm -hmm. willing to take him take her back to Samuel and be like, okay, we found one. Is this it? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You uh, you guys make your way back. Um, you bring her into the warehouse, and Samuel kind of gives it an approving nod, and says, "Very good. This this should be the fourth." And he just kind of stares daggers at her. She's like, "He's like, child, where is your sire?" Uh, he's he's uh, not here, and Samuel's like. Just kind of gives her a you know duh the expression. He's like, he's like, all children are to be presented by their sires. Well, um, um, he he sent something ahead um, that was supposed to be given to the prince because um, because he 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 couldn't come to Sophia with me. And Samuel kind of gives this you know like look like you know you're saying the dog ate your homework um <laughs> mm -hmm. he's like well 
you will meet with the prince tomorrow night, and we shall see if you are truly who you say you are. And that's where we're going to wrap up. Wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed that. Yeah, that was yeah. cool. We will... Um, um, Oh, go ahead. I miss playing this game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I miss playing this game because it's yes. been it's been so long. Yeah, it has been a real. Yeah, yeah cause and, that... and the best part is I like I'm not going to try to say a lot because I know some like I I yes. know some of the names. I remember Samuel. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I remember yeah. the name. Yeah, uh, I don't yeah. remember much else, but I was yeah. like, I remember Samuel was a character in that group in that game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was. Um, we originally played this the old tabletop version in like '97, maybe yeah. nine, maybe '98 before I moved um, to yeah, Florida. Yeah, moved in April. Yeah, I remember you moved in April. So yeah. it was like it was somewhere between '97 yeah. to '98 because I think. Because we got Carl and I got married in '94, mm-hmm. and we were playing champions for a few years. Mm-hmm. And I want to say it was '96 when Joe introduced 90, the White Wolf. In, in, uh, about '94, '95, yes. But yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and then, Joe, but we didn't play it a lot because we were still doing champions. Yeah, and then yeah. as champions started to wane in our interest, Joe got us more into White Wolf, mm-hmm. and Heather and Fred really mm-hmm. took off into it and yeah. they were like we love this let's do yeah. this and everybody and, then, and everybody had their favorite uh, matt gravitated yeah. to, to mage mm-hmm. um i think i went to vampire and fred yeah. went to werewolf went to werewolf yeah yep and, and joe's just like playing yes yeah, exactly <laughs> and uh i remember i think the first game we played was werewolf and i believe heather ran the game well, no, I think Joe did. I think Joe had to because Joe? none of the rest of okay. us were that familiar with it. Maybe, maybe Joe that was ran, it. yeah. Joe ran a very short, like a one-shot yes. werewolf thing, just to get us familiar with it. Yeah, and then he let Heather take over. That's right. That's right. Yeah, because I do remember. Was, I remember Fred playing the Red Talon, who, yeah. uh, who who lost or oh, he challenged for um, Alpha leadership. Yeah, yeah and yeah. lost to Heather. <laughs> Who was, who was he lost to the child of Gaia, exactly. which was just hilarious. Yeah, like, yeah. oh, I'm the big mean combat monster, yeah. and you lost to a, a <laughs> peace snake child of Gaia. <laughs> I remember it was great. <laughs> <laughs> it's just because the light, the dice rolleth, uh, the dice giveth, and the dice exactly. taketh away, and Fred never even got off the ground. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Um, yeah, so we, uh, so I ran a Dark Ages game for uh, a couple months. We didn't play that long, um, because no, we, 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 we all tended to be like, hey, I want to run something, I want to run something. Yeah, and we, we all had, had our own ideas that we wanted to run with. Exactly. Well, and plus, taking turns was fair, you know? Yeah, like, yeah. You don't, yeah. don't want to, like, none of us really, like, like. The guy I played D one of the guys I played D and D with, Chris. He mm-hmm. loves DMing. He, it's yeah. like his favorite thing to do. Yeah. He loves running the campaigns, but he yeah. can't do it every week. Yeah, you know, yeah. It's like after a while, it gets it gets to be a strain. So yeah. I run my game, he runs his game, so we each get to take. You know, he. I don't get any extra joy from DMing. I do it because it's it's to me it's a part of your group duty. You know, you got to yeah. take a turn. And we have some guys that you know would suck as DMs, like my my friend Jack and and Dave. There would be awful DMs, so yeah. they don't DM. Yeah. But John will come in and pick up a spot. Like, oh, Chris is like, oh, I can't make it tonight. I had a rough day. Okay, well, John, you can run this one shot thing at night, or I'll you know, and I have my regular campaign. So it really yeah. works out for us. But you know, sharing that de- sharing those duties was something we just did. Because yeah. we all like, well, I want to do mage, or I want to do werewolf, or I want to yeah. do vampire. Yeah. Well, okay, uh, we'll take turns. <laughs> there is, um, yeah, because I ran this game for just a little while. Um, yeah, some of the characters from that game will reappear. Um, I don't have my notes, honestly, from, from, oh, yeah, from no. that game. I so. barely remembered. I remembered Praetor. I remembered yeah. him as a as a, a, a Nosferatu and, yeah. like, was good with, like, he was strong and had he was good with a sword, and yeah. that was about it. Yeah, yeah and that's it. Yeah. And like, okay, I know he had obfuscate and he had <laughs> <Yeah>. potence, <laughs> and that's it. But I'm like, I wanted to I wanted to get away from the the mask of a thousand faces. Like, I'm not I'm not even sure. Like, I think during character creation, like, it, it's really hard to get a level three yes uh, it, it rank is. in it. Like, it's like you get you can get twos easily enough yeah. based on the build. And I like the way they did the changes to the character creation. Like yeah, you yeah. have to have something with a one, yes. but you also have something with a four and the rest is kind of like, well, 
pick where you want, but you're going to have one strength and one weakness. Yeah. However, you splice your character creation. Yeah, I I, I kind of like the updates, um, especially the, the the character creation. I think it's I, that's something I suck at, um, but that's uh, but yeah. I, do, I do like it. I think things seems. You, I mean, you can make a specialist in something if you want to, but yeah, right. the, yeah, yeah, yeah. You had you, know. you had specialist as one of the options, and it's like, oh well, you yeah. get this many stat, you know, like. Yeah. Well, the generalist gets you way more, you know, and you get, you, you know, to me, that just seems the smarter way, especially like if you're going to make a concept, you can spread the dice out to where you need them to be to make your concept. Yeah. And that works. That to me is a, be- a better idea. Okay. I'm going to go yeah. ahead and stop the recording and then we can, okay. we can keep chatting yeah. then. So I thought you did. <laughs> nope, not yet. No, I, I was, I was enjoying us all just chatting away. So uh, yeah. we will go ahead and wrap up uh, episode one. Thank you guys. Yeah.